Hi guys, in today's lecture I am going to introduce you to a G tool in G framework. Uh, what is G tool? G tool is a very powerful tool for generating code in G framework. So we can access G tool from here. This is the URL uh, index.php r is equal to g now in order to work with g uh, i have to create a uh, couple of tables in database currently we have only migration and user i have a SQL script for my tables so let me create the tables Okay, now I have two more tables one is category other is products uh, in categories table we have category ID category title category description category status and category enter date while in products table we have product ID product title description image price enter date status and this is a foreign key of category table category ID so this is our database now let's create uh, go to let's go to g and in g first of all what we want to do we want to create models for the two tables so model generator start my first table is category auto suggest shows categories and model class name should be categories now by default it will show you the namespace where the model will be saved it is vacant models so this is correct and preview ok click generate so our model should be generated yes our categories model has been generated this is namespace use g and then uh, categories are model name it is using the table categories which is obvious getting in this table this is returned by this table then the rules are defined uh, for our table the fields uh, in database those are not null are defined as required and upon their data type other validation is applied like these two status and description are string uh, enter date is safe data type and uh, category title is string but with a maximum length of 256 labels are defined uh, such as this so this was the model generated by the G tool next we have to go and generate uh, CRUD generator now in CRUD uh, what happens in when we run the CRUD generator uh, basically it will generate a controller for us for us in which uh, we will be have create action read action update action and delete action so let's start our model is backend backend models and model name is categories we want to generate a search model as well so you can search controller should be backend uh, controllers and the controller name can be anyone I want to give my categories categories should be my controller name but the keyword controller should be used so categories controller my view path I want my view path to be uh, backend views and categories now let's preview ok so before generate if we go to our controller section 
we have no controller the site that is default controller and uh, in view we have only layout and site now let's generate this code the code has been generated successfully in editor if we check we have categories and we have controller categories uh, this is namespace defined uh, the classes that are required and for behavior function we will discuss cover this later in tutorial and it is uh, index section this is for listing pages and then we have view this is uh, for detailed view of any category we have create controller next we have update controller okay so let's access our controller if you go to our home page okay what I want I want for now the categories should be called here let's go and change this my site controller I'm calling the index view and the first heading this should be categories description for now let's say it should be categories description categories home and path should be let's say index.php r is equal to categories save the page and go to home page refresh ok now categories is linked to our home page this is controller category and now we are in action index so here we have categories create categories we can create category let's go to the we have check the controller in which we have action index view we have create and update functions so these are all actions now in each function uh, let's say let's explain action index in action index what we have done we have created a search model object for the category search and we have oh, with the help of data provider uh, we have fetched all the record if there is any in the database according to the uh, query parameters these two objects are then passed to index view and in index view what do we have in index view views categories uh, we have used two classes here helper html and grid view then we have defined the title of this page so if we come here this is title and this is title now this is title uh, breadcrumb is defined after breadcrumb we have the grid view widget that was uh, passed uh, the data prof uh, this was these were the two objects that we passed search model and data provider and these two are used in the grid view uh, here we have the columns to be displayed are category id category title category description enter date and so on so this is how our index page is displayed if you go to our create categories here we have category title category description category status and next is category end date enter date sorry i want the enter date uh, my admin should not be able to enter the enter date manually instead it should be entered by the system so in order to do that first i have to remove this field from the form let's go to action create in action create for now the form is not submitted so if is not true in else we have render create so create view is this one and in this 
view we have displayed the title breadcrumb and then we are rendering another form which is underscore form this render form and the model is passed to the form view again let's go to the form view in form view here is the form I want the category enter date to be removed from here so delete save and if I refresh the page okay, enter date is not there what I have to do next is in category title when the form is submitted and this condition is true model load the model will be loaded uh, with the post array and the model will be saved so I don't want to be saved immediately my model cut it from here and I want to save the model in the if body after I can run some PHP code so what I want I want my enter date to be initialized here categories enter date is equal to date e, uh, year month date or minutes second Let's save the page and now refresh now let me add some categories for now I want first categories to be laptops laptops and control C V category should be active create okay so now in the indexing I have category title description category status and enter date I can view this and I can edit this also I can delete but let's not, del not delete it uh, this is all about uh, creating model and crud now what uh, I am going to do I am going to create repeat the, I am going to create model for product table ok guys so I have repeated the same process for products uh, I have created with the help of G uh, controller for product uh, and model for product also the view has been generated uh, what I have done I have also done the same process with the products uh, I have the date is entered by the system not by the admin so that's it uh, regarding the G tool uh, for today I think that's enough in the next lecture what I am going to explain is that when we are creating products I want this field uh, this should not be a text field rather it should be a drop down and the values will be coming from the categories table so let's do that in the next lecture thank you for watching and uh, if you like my videos please do subscribe to my channel to get the latest videos or if you have any queries or you want me to make any video for any selected topic you can post me thank you Bye.